I'd like to go through this video uh, first. <clears throat> let me share the video. Uh, because there were <clears throat> a lot of <clears throat> comments and we, I can <clears throat> try to go uh, through those comments as well. So I start with this uh, <clears throat> video where I wanted to know what would convince uh, Matt to believe that God exists. <clears throat> and I have to admit that uh, I didn't know him if I had this, uh, you know, experience about uh, this subject, uh, I would have uh, had different debate with him on NDD. On the line we have um, from Sweden, pronouns are he, him, uh, Perfect Dawa. Is this the same gentleman that I debated? Yes, hello, yes. <clears throat> hello, Matt, how are you? How are you? I'm fine, thank you, how about you? I'm doing all right. It uh, says here you want to discuss why we need God. Um, yeah, what difference actually, does it make? Oh, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, actually, uh, I was going to say that uh, uh, that topic we uh, had together was the first time I uh, had that topic. That why, that's why I didn't have enough experience. And uh, thank you for that debate, because I got enough experience uh, to debate that. Uh, you you got enough experience uh, from one debate. Well, congratulations. Yes. I still don't have enough experience, and I've been doing this for 20 years, so clearly you're way better at it than I am. Yeah. But what are you yeah. calling about today? Have, yes, I'm calling that uh, I would like to know what would make you uh, to believe, because that day, I, I unfortunately, um, I thought that um, those um, you know verses that I brought up uh, would convince you, but um, I understood that uh, they were not enough for you, but... Uh, I was uh, wondering if I, for example, split the moon for you, would that make you to uh, believe that uh, God exists? Why would you splitting the moon for me make me think that God exists? I mean, I, I'm asking you if that would make you to believe. No, I'm, I'm, so I'm asking you a question to specifically... Yes, so um, this is the dishonesty that... Uh, I'm asking him a question and he just avoid the question. He ran away and he asked me another question. Why should I do that? So obviously why prophets of God, uh, you know, were, uh, yes, uh, performing miracles to, uh, for disbelievers. Why? They would do that because they wanted that people see that they are not uh, ordinary people and they have uh, supernatural power. <clears throat> How they get this supernatural power, definitely they uh, get it from a higher power. For example, when <clears throat> Prophet Moses, he dropped his uh, uh, stick and it became snake. <clears throat> Some of those magicians, they, uh, they believed, they realized that this is not the magic and they start to believe and <clears throat> jesus peace be upon him as well when he was performing <clears throat> miracle people were believing so miracle is always because of that you don't need to ask me why should i do that you have to answer my question that would you believe or not and he dodged the question and he <clears throat> asked me a, a, a ridiculous question specifically emphasize this point. You just said, if okay. you split the moon for me, would that convince me that God exists? So yeah. first of all, let's say the moon was split. How do I know that you did it? And what does that, how does that, how could that possibly demonstrate a God? Okay. This is, you know, just all again, running away because if I want to split the moon, definitely I would tell him that Matt tomorrow, this time I'm going to split the moon. So no one else would say to Matt that I'm going this time tomorrow night split the moon. So definitely that's <clears throat> me who is going to perform that miracle. Of course, I am not, uh, you know, I don't have that power. So I get obviously that power from God if I split the moon. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's put it like this, that if God told me that I give you a miracle so that you can convince Matt 
that I exist, okay? Okay, okay. so for example, this time I would say to everybody, the entire planet, and you as well, that uh, I'm going to split the moon so that um, eight, uh, atheists, they watch it and they believe that God exists. So if you saw that, would you believe that God exists? No, but... Okay. As you see, no, <laughs> his answer is no. He wouldn't even believe in such an impossible, you know, miracle. The so God he, that he you put, hang, hang on, hang on. Okay. The God that you're advocating for, does okay. that God want me to know that he exists? Yeah, you see, again, he ran away, <clears throat> you know, and he asking uh, another question. Just answer my question. Okay, you said, of course, you don't believe, <clears throat> okay? But what would you convince you? What would convince you? You should say that one, okay? Not to go to all these uh, 20 questions. <clears throat> and then the answer to this question is obvious. God wants you to believe. That's why he sent us prophets. He gave those prophets uh, miracles so that people like you believe, okay? But why he wants you to believe that he exists, that's another story that you have to answer me so that I can explain for you why he wants. Actually, uh, God wants uh, that you follow his commands, okay? I, okay, stop. I'm asking okay. very specific questions. <coughs> why are you asking, answering a different question? Does okay. the God that you're talking about want me to know that he exists? He can ask me another question when I ask him the question, okay, but I cannot answer his question, okay, despite he shouldn't ask me a question because I called him, I was asking him a question. Despite that, he asked me a question and he wants me to answer the way he wants. He doesn't even allow me to uh, you know, to explain it. Actually, not, it is not so important for him that he wants you to know that he exists, okay? Then why are we talking about it? So because we need God, okay? I, um, my question is that... No, I don't, need, I don't need God mm -hmm. and I don't give a shit. About, I don't need God and I don't give a shit about a God that doesn't have any interest okay. in demonstrating that he exists. Because if okay. he doesn't demonstrate, he, stop talking. Okay. All right. If Let he doesn't, you. stop Even fucking talking. Okay, I'm going to okay. mute you now. Stop talking over me. If your God does not care whether or not I know that he exists, then he is an idiot. Because if he expects me to follow his commandments, I would first need to know that he exists and those commandments are from him, wouldn't I? Okay. Yes, <clears throat> and I ask you, what would convince you when, he, if he knows that nothing will convince you, okay, uh, let me... Uh, yes, Anton, hello, Anton. Please join if you would like, that's the... That's the, the link there. I would like to read the a verse of Quran that God says. <clears throat> okay. Uh, that God says to Prophet Muhammad. Okay, let me see. Uh, I think it's this one. Uh, I will read it. Uh, Quran chapter 6, verse 35. If their aversion is too hard on you, <clears throat> Then seek if you can. This is uh, also, uh, by the way, this is uh, one of those evidences that Prophet Muhammad didn't split the moon because people were asking him for miracle. And this is God's answer to him. Chapter 6, verse 35. If their aversion is too hard on you, then seek if you can a tunnel into the earth or a ladder into the sky in order to bring them a sign. Had Allah so willed, he would have brought all of them to the right path. So never be one of the ignorance, okay? So if God wanted, yeah, if he willed, he would, uh, you know, he would uh, have a way to bring them uh, to the, you know, to, to believe in him, okay? Uh, let me see. Um, 
बहुत बीच के Quran chapter 6 verse 109 and they swear by Allah their strongest oaths that if a sign came to them they would surely believe in it so these these are people who not even math okay these are people who said that if a sign came okay if a miracle came they would believe all right so <clears throat> Uh, I read it again, and they swear by Allah their strongest oaths that if a sign came to them, <clears throat> they would surely believe in it. Say the signs are only with Allah, and what will make you uh, per uh, perceive that even if a sign came, they would not believe? Okay, so Allah says here that people like him they wouldn't believe anyway, even if a sign came down. Okay, and it is very very clear here that he he even doesn't he wouldn't believe in uh, the moon split if I somebody or I split the moon for him. All right. Okay. Now, wouldn't I? I, I just I oh, no. You will never ever be allowed to talk on any show that I ever do if you just sit there and wait for me to stop talking. And not answer the question I just asked you. I just put a question to you. If your God wants me to follow His commandments, okay. does He want me to do that, even if I don't believe that He exists? Okay, now he's now I can talk. Yeah. No, now, now you're I, fucking I, done. No, you're fucking. I'm never, ever, ever going to take a call from such you. A, such a crazy person. He doesn't even allow me to speak. You know. Such a, you know, my God. Again, unless you answer the question that I'm asking, why is conversation so difficult for you? I asked you a question. I paused. Now you can answer it. So let me try this one more time. And if you get this wrong, you are done. Okay. Here we go. Can you ask? Can I? Your ask? God. You, you said your God wants me to follow His commandments. Yes or no? Yes, yes. Does he want me to follow his commandments, even if I don't believe that he exists? Yeah, he wants that you follow his commandments. He's an idiot. Why would anybody follow the commandments of a god that they don't believe exists? Okay, so now I can answer your question. Yeah, why he does he doesn't? I just want, because, you, what the fuck is wrong with you? I said, because why would any God expect yeah, someone to, to follow their commandments if they don't believe they exist? That was the Matt, question. Answer it. Okay. Okay, Matt. If, I mean, God asks you to love one another. If he exists or doesn't I exist, you, you a love question. one another? If you, I swear to the God that you're trying to fucking shill for, if you don't answer the question that I've asked you, I will hang up. And you will never get to speak on any program that I'm ever on again. Do you understand? Yes or no? Yeah, Mister <clears throat> Ignorant. I have to say because you are, you know, you have some health problem as well. <clears throat> okay. So let's say that you are Indian and you are living, uh, you know, uh, around. I think it was uh, in uh, 1950s. Yeah. That Mahatma Gandhi was leader uh, of Indians, and he wanted to bring them out of that problem they had, uh, uh, you know, the British colonialism. <clears throat> okay, so was any Muslim or Christian? Uh, was there any of them who were asking Mahatma Gandhi that, Do, "Are you a, a you know prophet of God or?" Uh, or God, or whatever, that we have to follow your commands to get out of this, uh, you know, uh, oppression of British. No, they realize that it is, uh, you know, rational, reasonable. He, uh, you know, his leadership is good, so they followed him despite they didn't believe in what he believed. Okay, so a rational person uh, would follow good commands, no matter from whom those commands are. So this is all I'm trying to say to this math that 
for example, uh, I have to read this. I am not a Buddhist, okay? I don't believe that Buddha was God or whatever, okay? But I believe in these, that these words that Buddha says, the kind of seed sown will produce that kind of fruit. Those who do good will reap good uh, results. Those who do evil will reap evil results. If you uh, carefully plant a good seed, <clears throat> you will joyfully gather good fruit. So should I believe that, <clears throat> you know, uh, as I heard, even uh, Buddhists, they consider themselves, uh, you know, atheists. So shouldn't I follow this uh, because I'm not a Buddhist? No, I follow this. I follow any good commands of anybody. I follow uh, good commands of uh, uh, a president, a political party. I follow the command, the good commands of Karl Marx as well. Okay, so this is ridiculous that <clears throat> people like him, they have to know that God exists, uh, or that Prophet Muhammad was prophet of God, Jesus was prophet of God, <clears throat> Moses was a prophet of God. They have to know that before they follow the beautiful commands of these uh, prophets. You get very angry, man. I get no. very angry when you refuse to answer the question you're asked. I just said, do you understand yes or no? I understand very well, yes, definitely. Cool. Then please, the question that we're asking is, I said, why would any God expect someone who doesn't believe they exist to follow their commandments? Because if you don't believe that God exists, then there is no authority and no reason to follow commandments. Would you follow the commandments of a God that you don't believe exists? That's the question. Okay. Would you, I said, would yes. you follow yes. the commandments of a God? I said now, okay, <clears throat> and you were not allowing me to explain, yes, I would follow if that command is good okay and i explained now that uh, anything good from anybody i would follow okay because it is nice it is uh makes sense is reasonable so why shouldn't i follow those <clears throat> teachings or commands or whatever that buddha gave god that you do not believe exists yes or no okay can i ask, answer your question please? yes or no yeah. okay yeah. he just wants yes or no he doesn't want anything else. Okay, yes. If it is a nice commandment, if it is a good commandment, I don't care from where it comes. Okay? It's a good commandment. It will help me and to, you know, it will solve our problems. Then I follow. It doesn't matter who sends this. It's a messenger. When you're it's a following a commandment. Whatever. You're following. You are, uh, you are, ta you are uh, behaving consistent with an instruction you agree with. That's not a commandment. Okay, so if you don't believe that God exists, you will not love one another. You would not, not uh, take care of orphans. You don't. You don't give uh, charity because God doesn't exist. Or excuse me, you? no, no, no. I do those things, and I don't believe okay. that God exists. Okay, so that's that's what my point is. That that <clears throat> all He wants from you is these commands that you follow them. Be a good person, and uh, Dapa? you know. Dawa, so, stop. Yeah. Tell, okay, how do you know that that's what God wants from me? Okay, because it, he has written in his commands. Okay, can I, I no, 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 no. How do you know that he has commands that he has written? Okay, uh, this is uh, again uh, ridiculous. That how do you know? I have explained for you uh, in my debate that the things they knew. Okay. I wish that uh, an atheist was here, uh, that I would uh, talk to somebody because you were not allowing, to, uh, allowing me to talk. Only, uh, you know, when somebody doesn't even believe the biggest miracle and he says that uh, even if you split the moon, I'm not going to believe, okay? So how he can believe in the, you know, for example, uh, when I became, um, I started to believe, 
Uh, I saw that the uh, pagans, they believe in reincarnation and it continues forever. They don't believe in end. There is nothing like that. But Abrahamic religion, they believe that there is an end to this universe. Only that made me to think how could they know thousands of years ago that there is an end to this universe. Only that. But uh, let me read for you uh, here now. Let me read from Quran that how do I know, okay? Uh, when Quran says in chapter 21, sorry, let's say chapter 21, verse 104, the day when we will fold the heaven like the folding of a written sheet, okay? This is saying that when the universe coming back this is the pulsing theory okay the pulsing theory or the um, uh, another name is the big crunch okay this is the big crunch theory that the one day the world will come back again to the same point it started uh, the uh, before big bang so the day when we will fold the heaven like the folding of a written sheet for the records as we began the first creation so here is talking about the, the end. Here is talking about the beginning, that there was a beginning to this universe. And here is talking about how it will finish. It will finish by the big crunch. It will come back again to the same point, from the point that it started as we began the first creation. So we shall do it all over again. This is again the pulsing theory, the uh, big crunch theory that after it come back together and it will start again another big bang and again will be another universe. So it will do it all over again, okay? And that is a promise binding upon us. In, indeed, we will do it all. Uh, <clears throat> let me see. Uh, there is a verse uh, here, ah, yeah. Chapter 51, verse 47. And the heaven we uh, constructed with strength, and indeed we are its expander. It's talking about the Big Bang, that we uh, started it with the strength, okay? And we are the expander of it. We, uh, we know today that the, uh, the universe is expanding. Chapter 21, verse 30. Have those who disbelieve not considered that the heavens and the earth were a joint entity. <clears throat> okay, a joint entity. This is exactly before the Big Bang. <clears throat> and we separated them and made from water every living thing. Then will they not believe? Okay, today we know that every living creature is from water. So, and there are many other verses. I'm not going through all of them. So how do I know it is from God is because <clears throat> that illiterate man 1400 years ago couldn't absolutely couldn't talk about universe even, not even talk about universe. And he was not only talking about universe, but he was talking accurately about uh, the Big Bang, about uh, the Big Crunch, about the beginning, about the end and so on. So. There are many other verses that I can read for you. So how do I know? I am a person who think, reflect, and even this one verse uh, tells me that he couldn't know these things for sure thousands of years ago. And you are a person who do not agree, even, uh, even splitting the moon would not uh, convince you. So... <clears throat> Okay, I say for me, uh, you know why I converted to, I'm a converted Muslim, okay? I converted to Islam not because God exists, because of the commands, because of the commands that I saw in Quran. How do you know I, that they are God's commands? It doesn't matter if they are God's commands or not, mister. It is beautiful commands. They are going to guide us out of our problems. And I follow them. It doesn't matter if it is God's commands or not, if it is Prophet Muhammad's commands, if it is Mahatma Gandhi's commands, if it is President Trump's commands, if it is Karl Marx's commands, it doesn't matter. If I see that they are rational, they are helpful, they are teaching us 
uh, good things, then I will follow them. I have explained for you, okay? So now I'm calling it God, okay? You do not accept it, doesn't matter. So I say, look, uh, for example, um, uh, Gandhi, he wasn't the God, okay? He How do you Gandhi. know that they're God's commands? Okay, I said that. Uh, I say that it, it is, okay, because I, uh, a person 1,400 years ago couldn't have... Written, How do you know that they are God's commands? Because I said, as I said, a person 1,400 years ago no. couldn't have written that book. How do you know okay? that they are God's commands? This is your last chance. Because if I say a person 1,400 years ago, I showed you even a video in my, uh, what is it, in my debate with you, I showed you a video that how people were living in 1948 in Arabia. So imagine how people were living uh, 1,400 years ago. So such a person 1,400 years ago couldn't uh, possibly, couldn't ever know that there was an end to this universe, there was a beginning to this universe, and, and the universe will be repeated again uh, talk about the big crunch theory and so on. And there are other things that I haven't read for you. Okay. There are many, many other, uh, you know, verses that even uh, <clears throat> I played that uh, video from uh, embryologists that <clears throat> how could Prophet Muhammad 1400 years ago know that uh, the embryo become like a leech, exactly like a leech uh, in a point. Uh, I don't know which period is that, but after a few weeks, I think. It becomes uh, like a leech, and the word leech that it has used is very, very, um, you know, unique. And it how it was explaining that it is will hang and so on. But he was a, uh, you know, embryologist, a professor, and he was explaining that this could not be possibly from uh, such a person fourteen hundred years ago. He wasn't an embryologist. He he was just an illiterate person. I get. I answered you because I told you. No, that you people didn't. Have thousands Goodbye. Of Goodbye. Muslim apologists are the worst. I'm going to be debating a Muslim in two weeks in Dallas, Texas. I've been doing this for 20 years, and people like to laugh and joke at Ray Comfort and whoever else among the Christian, the bottom of the barrel Christian apostles. I wish that I could talk to that uh, Muslim. I was trying to find him that who's going to debate you, you know, to tell him that it's really, really is useless to talk to somebody like you who would not even accept uh, anything. You don't even know what would convince you. Any a rational person would say, like uh, I said, Pancreak, <clears throat> Pancreak is a atheist uh, YouTuber. He said, if God light up my wet napkin, I would believe, okay? <clears throat> so he knows what would convince him. But you don't know even what would convince you. Nothing will convince you. You put it on God. You say, if God exists, he knows what would convince me. God knows that nothing will convince you. That's why. He's not going to show you anything, okay? Apologists are absolutely terrible. They don't understand logic. They don't understand logical fallacies. They don't, they don't, they want to stick with their script. They don't answer the questions. But now that I've engaged with Muslim after Muslim after Muslim for months now, they are the worst. Yeah. They are the least intelligent, least understanding of fallacies. They have the least evidence okay i told you <clears throat> again that you are not intelligent at all you are not an intelligent person because you do not follow those beautiful commands just because um, you don't believe god exists <clears throat> if you follow them then what is your problem okay that you are discussing that god exists or doesn't exist and you don't accept anything but you come to a uh, show asking this question that does god exist okay so when nothing persuade you when nothing in this universe persuade you that god exists convince you that god exists why you ask this question at all this is stupid that you ask this question 
when nothing will convince you. Okay, so what you are expecting? They are the most confused. It is absolutely embarrassing. Yeah, it is. It is absolutely embarrassing how bad they are. Even amongst their uh, their so called moderate group, they are as bad as like the young Earth. What we laugh at from young earth creationists by default when they say things like the, uh, by the way, the thing I was interested in, uh, 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 had he started engaging, honestly, I was, if he's allowed to ask a hypothetical question, I don't see why I can't give a hypothetical answer, which is yes. Let's say hypothetically. Yes. If you split the moon, that would convert me, or at least it would convert other people. Because later now I hear Jimmy is a little bit more, a rational, okay, uh, saying that if I split the moon, he would uh, believe. But look what Matt Matt says, still. Because for sure, what now? What you gonna split it? What What is the purpose oh. of this hypothetical that isn't even a hypothetical? Because it won't I happen. Know the purpose of this, and and this is the part that it isn't necessarily clear for people. What they want to do is say, even if I were to split the moon, these these atheists still wouldn't believe. That's Exactly, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> and you are the one who would not believe in that, okay? What they want to do. But they're too stupid to understand the flawed epistemology they're engaged with. If yeah. you were to say to me, God just sent me a message, and he is going to split the moon in half tomorrow at noon, at noon central time, and I will be standing right next to you when it happens. And then they came over, and at noon, we walked out. Well, I don't know why you'd split the moon at noon. It's rarely up and visible. But on this day, we'll make sure that the, the moon's visible at noon, because that does happen on occasion. And they're standing right next to me, and at noon, the moon splits in two. Here's what I know. I know that I've seen, apparently, the moon split in two. And I know that someone said this was going to happen, and it was going to happen because of a god. However... How do I rule out alien technology that I don't? Oh, my God. Alien technology. Are you crazy mad? Okay. Which alien travel thousands of light years or millions of light years come here because I call them to come here and split the moon and then which technology can split the moon? I don't believe that there is any technology in the entire universe that split the moon. They need uh, a soul which has to be minimum 4,000 kilometers in diameter and split it and then put it back again together with what? Super glue or what, Mr. Matt? You cannot even, you have not even this knowledge to understand that this is impossible. And then they travel thousands of light years, come here, split the moon because they want that Matt believe in God. Are you crazy, Matt? Why they should do that? Why they should care about you to believe or not? Tell me, okay? How do I rule out some sort of power that this person has? How do I rule out 25? Okay, if I have that power to split the moon, okay, then I am God, mister, okay? So you uh, you cannot understand that only God can in entire universe split the moon and bring it back together, okay? Uh, brother, uh, just let me continue to uh, analyze this video, okay? And then we talk thousand other things and at the end of the day if you're con if that were scenario were to play out and you became convinced that, that god exists you would have flawed epistemology because yeah. first of all if there was a god who can split the moon why does he need you to come tell me that's what he's going to do why does he need to split the moon at all a god with power like that could very clearly unequivocally come up with a proper test scenario that demonstrates his power immediately to anyone and everyone. Your yeah. hypothetical, as Jimmy pointed out, is stupid. It demonstrates the flawed epistemology that you theists already begin with. Okay, You're God, that God knows that nothing will convince you, okay? That's why he doesn't show you anything. Even if it convinces you, okay, then at the end, because it is written in Quran, 
at the end, you will say that, okay, God, you are there, then go and fix everything yourself. Because God, because God wants you to fix things yourself, you, me, and everyone else on this planet by his guidance, okay? Because he knows at the end, uh, I don't remember, perhaps Brother Rashid remember the verse, there's a verse in Quran that uh, uh, I think it was about uh, Prophet Moses that people told him that, okay, now you can go with your God and fix everything yourself now when you have, uh, <clears throat> you know, demonstrated uh, that God exists. So you can go and fix everything yourself, which uh, that's the last answer you guys give. Your yeah. epistemology is so flawed that you accept bullshit claims about the supernatural, that zombie Jesus rose from the dead, that, um, that you know, countless miracles that have nothing but a claim, and you think that that's sufficient to, to justify this. You, if you are a theist, your brain is broken, not in a mental illness way, in a yeah. flawed foundational way where you have a flawed epistemology because you're willing to accept the supernatural under grounds that you can't. Perfect Dawa, who I already debated and posted a debate review about, is absolutely, first of all, he's a liberal Muslim. So you're not going to get him on the, oh, he doesn't think that Muhammad actually married a six-year-old and consummated at nine. Uh, he doesn't think the moon was split in half, which really pisses me off that he decided to use that as an example. Okay, you could say something else. I just came up with that, uh, you know, example. I don't believe, no, I don't believe that he split the moon, but uh, it was the closest uh, big miracle that I could just come up because... Uh, your followers uh, in the chat, they were saying that, uh, oh, how do we know that, it, as you were saying, how do we know that, uh, you know, alien technology, that's why I said that, okay, something else, if I brought the nearest galaxy to, uh, close to our galaxy, okay, that's when you cannot say it's, uh, or I, I bring the North Star close to our pla uh, planet for one day and then brought it back. So you cannot say that that, uh, there was any, uh, you know, technology, uh, alien technology that can do that. So you should come up yourself with a single example that, okay, this miracle will convince me, but nothing will convince you and you are going to, to uh, confirm. He is literally dumber than a sack of hammers when it comes to epistemology. He doesn't understand what should convince, which is why when I went down this road of saying, how do you know that these are the commands of God. He just talks about this convinced me. And how could a man 1400 years ago have known this stuff? You haven't demonstrated that Muhammad did know anything. I demonstrate, demonstrated for you. I demonstrated tonight as well that he knew these things, but I said nothing. Of course, when somebody doesn't even believe in, uh, I mean, if the moon was a split, a split, he wouldn't believe. Definitely, he would. He doesn't believe in uh, a verse of Quran that talking about the end of the universe, the beginning of the universe, about the big crunch theory, and so on. So definitely, uh, you are yourself uh, the dumbest because you were saying yourself that uh, God knows what would convince me. So you put it on God. You cannot even yourself, like Pancreas says that. Uh, lighting up his wet napkin will convince him, okay? But you don't know even that, okay? You don't know what would convince you. Thing. What's happened here is that science discovered stuff and you guys go back and find a way to fit it in. Meanwhile, uh, the Quran is absolute garbage and is wrong about countless things. Is it better than the Bible in some areas? Sure. Okay, he said that uh, we... Uh, scientists, they find something and they fit it in, in our Quran. Okay, imagine that uh, a thousand, uh, 1400 years ago, Quran said that, uh, it hasn't said, but imagine that it said that the, uh, the planet Earth is globe, is wrong. Okay, and today we found out that the uh, Earth is wrong. And we said that, look, Quran said it 1400 years ago. Then you would say, oh, you wait until, uh, you know, Science, science finds something and you feed it in Quran. This is ridiculous, okay? Yes, we didn't know in the past that the world will end. We didn't know in the past that there was a beginning to the, to the world. 
we didn't know in the past that uh, the, the world might end with the uh, big crunch theory. But today we know that there is a possibility that the world will end with the uh, big crunch theory, or it is called also pulsing theory. And I showed you a verse of Quran that talking about the beginning, the end, how the world will end, okay? This is what Quran is not about. Uh, possibilities is talking about certainly that what will happen that it will uh, finish by the big crunch theory okay scientists they they are not sure that it will finish with the big crunch theory but Quran is sure it's saying that it will happen in that way so uh, we just uh, uh, fit it in Quran no it says clearly Quran says that but you know what's not? Muslim epistemology is horribly flawed. They don't yeah. know a thing, and Christians aren't are, are, are maybe barely better, and Mormons are probably worse than both of them. Nah, it depends. Come on, Joseph Smith made this shit up just oh, within yeah, yeah. living memory. Yeah, of course, of course. It, but it's it's <laughs> argument. Uh, actually engaging in an argument I would find more intellectually challenging with a lot of Mormons than certainly perfect oh. Dawah. Yeah. Mormons, every Mormon I've engaged in an argument with, they just give up and, and Bear smile. testimony. <laughs> and say, yes, well, that was a nice talk. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, now Jimmy is going to admit that he would uh, believe if the moon was split. Okay, let's see. Um, yeah, that's true. But you know, in the case of Perfect Dawa, he does not understand what should convince, which is why he's convinced. And yeah. this is the thing that I find that is so sad. I keep running up across these individuals. Oh, I became convinced of this religion. Well, great. Thank you for demonstrating that you don't understand the basics of what should convince anyone. Yeah. It's sad. Yeah. I, I don't know. I'm I, I'm willing to put it out here. This isn't something I think Matt would be willing to do. If anybody reckons they can split the moon, whatever the power is, I agree to suspend my skepticism and start believing in their God. Uh, you just got to do it. I'm, I'm okay, you see that he, at least he knows what would convince him, okay? He is more rational than these um, mad Matt. <laughs> I'm going to put that down. See, and I can't. Yeah. I, I would I would absolutely if you split the moon I'll believe that you know we did the same thing with resurrections if you resurrect yeah. okay he, he, let's see somebody from the dead I'll believe that they're resurrected how they okay I believe that he split the moon he said he still doesn't say that he I believe that God exists Jimmy said he believed that God I believe that God exists he said this Matt says that yes if you split the moon I believe that you split the moon he still doesn't want to recognize that God ex, uh, split the moon. Okay, they were resurrected is another story. Yeah, for me, it's I, I'll, I'll suspend the skepticism and do it. Go ahead, split the moon, and I'm in. I don't, I don't even know. I, I, I don't know how you can suspend. I don't know how anybody can suspend skepticism. I, I will believe that you split the moon. Yeah. You see, well, I believe that you split the moon, <laughs> but I don't believe that God did it. Okay, so look how he is actually my God. Well, I'll die shortly after the, the moon splitting would be disastrous for us all. But yeah. Uh, all right. Well, yeah, go let's ahead. Try again, it, it, it's, let's try again because it's try again. It's Easter and, and I'm in a mood. All right. Okay. Then that's that was all. Okay. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to show that this uh, guy is very irrational.